equation of a line. To find the equation of a line, we are going to use the concept of determinants. So what is the formula for area of a triangle? Half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. 0 into 1 is 0, minus 3. Minus 0 into any number, you will get 0. 2x minus y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2x. This is the required equation of a line. Hello dear students, welcome to this session. I am Niranjan MJ, lecturer in mathematics with the Ashram PU College. So in this section of mathematics, we are going to discuss regarding one of the application of uh, matrices and determinants. So this is very important topic and you may expect one three marks question from this uh, topic. Now let us discuss uh, the topic in detail. So what is one of the important application of uh, matrices and determinants is to find the area of a triangle whenever the points are given, any coordinate is given to find the area of a triangle using determinant method. And suppose if the points coordinates are given, you can also find out the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line, we are going to use the concept of determinants. So to find the area of a triangle, we are using the concept of determinants. Even to find the equation of a line passing through any two points, that can also be determined using the concept of determinants. Now let us take a first concept, the area of a triangle area of a triangle. This is very important concept. So in this definitely you will get one three marks question. Definite question from this section and very easy. Now the area of a triangle formed by the three vertices x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 using determinant is the formula for area is area of a triangle is in general half into base into height we are going to use. So here the formula for this is half into determinant, determinant write down the coefficient of x1, x2, x3 in the first column, coefficient of y1, y2, y3 in the second column and the third column means constant 1, 1, 1. So x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. This is the area, this is the formula we are going to use to find the area of a triangle. So this is equal to 1 by 2 as it is, you just keep 1 by 2 as it is, expand this plus, minus and plus x1 into the delete the row and column containing x1, this is gone, x1, this row column is deleted, what is remaining is y2, 1, y3, 1, y2 into 1 is y2 minus, y3 into 1 is y3, again minus y1 into, simplify this this row and column is deleted x2 into 1 is x2 minus x3 into x yes x2 yes this is gone x2 into 1 is x2 x3 into 1 is x3 minus x3 again plus 1 into delete the row and column containing this x2 y3 x2 into y3 minus x3 into y2 so if we simplify this you will get the required area of a triangle. Very simple. So the area of a triangle formed by the points or the vertices x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 is given by area is equal to half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. Straight away if you put this like this. So given points x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Very easy to remember, very easy. Put it in order, first put it in a column, straight away enter the elements x1, x2, x3, x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, y1, y2, y3, again 1, 1, 1, just if you write 1, 1, 1 along with off outside the constant, then that will give the area expand with respect to the first row. Suppose if the area of a triangle formed by these three points, if the area triangle of a triangle formed with these three points is equal to 0. If these three points forms an area whose area is equal to 0 means then the three points are said to be collinear. Very important point. So in the examination show that the points are collinear using determinant method. Just find out the area. If the area is equal to 0 
you can say that the points given points are collinear now let us take an example i will start with an example find the area of a triangle whose vertices are given 3 comma 8 minus 4 comma 2 and 5 comma 1 now so here this is the formula what is the formula we are going to use the area of a triangle this is the formula we are going to use so this is equal to let us call it as x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 so x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 just use this formula and simplify we will get the answer let me solve the problem here itself now this is equal to now what are the points 3 comma 8 minus 4 comma 2 and 5 comma 1 so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x1 y1 3 comma 8 x2 y2 minus 4 comma 2 x3 y3 5 comma 1 what is the area of a triangle half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 so this is x1 x2 x3 x1 is 3 x2 is minus 4 and x5 is equal to x1 x3 is equal to 5 y1 y2 y3 y1 is 8 y2 is equal to 2 y3 is equal to 1 and the last column 1 1 1 as it is now expand this this is plus minus and plus just keep 1 by 2 constant out as it is plus 3 into you know the expansion this row column is gone row and column is deleted what is remaining 2 1 1 1 2 ones are 2 minus 1 into 1 is 1 minus 8 into this row and column is deleted minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 minus 5 into 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 into this row and column is deleted minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 minus minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 minus 5 to the 10 so I'll simplify this after simplification what we are going to get off as it is 3 into 2 minus 1 is 1 8 into minus 9 plus 1 into minus 14 so this is equal to if I simplify what is I'm, what is the answer you are going to get here half into 3 into 1 is 3 minus minus into minus plus 8 into 9 72 minus 14 so this is equal to half into 72 plus 3 is 75 75 minus 14 75 minus 14 5 minus 1 is 4 4 is 1 this is 61 so 61 so this is equal to 61 by 2 square units that's all so the required area of the triangle is 61 by 2 square units if you do this much you will get three marks very simple so listen one second i'll explain this so you find the area of a triangle formed by the points 3 comma 8 minus 4 comma 2 and 5 comma 1 3 comma 8 x1 y1 minus 4 comma 2 x2 y2 5 comma 1 x3 y3 so what is the formula for area of a triangle half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 half into x1 x2 x3 is 3 minus 4 5 x, x y1 y2 y3 is 8 2 and 1 and the constant 1 1 1 as it is last column now expand with respect to the first row half into 3 into delete the row and column containing this so 2 ones are 2 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 minus 8 into this is gone minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 minus 5 into 1 is 5 plus 1 is gone this row and column is deleted minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 5 twos are 10 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 minus 4 minus 10 is minus 14 3 into 1 is 3 9 into 8 72 plus into minus minus 14 72 plus 3 is 75 minus 14 is 61 therefore the area of the triangle the required area is equal to 61 by 2 square units that's all this is the simple concept now let us take one more problem like this now find the area of a triangle let us take one more problem find the area of a triangle find the area of a triangle find the area of a triangle 
formed by the points or the vertices 1 comma 0 6 comma 0 and 4 comma 3 using determinants method using like this they will ask the question in the examination they will ask find the area of a triangle formed by the points or the vertices 1 comma 0 6 comma 0 4 comma 3 using determinants method now what are the points given consider this as a 1 comma 0 x1 y1 b 6 comma 0 as x2 y2 then c what is c 4 comma 3 as x3 y3 okay now what is the formula the area of triangle area of triangle is equal to area of triangle ab is equal to half into determinant x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 this is the formula what is the formula half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 and 1 1 1 let us solve this now this is equal to half into determinant write down the values of x1 x2 x3 1 6 and 4 very simple 1 6 and 4 second row second column 0 0 3 y1 is 0 y2 is 0 y3 is equal to 3 and 1 1 1 so this is equal to simplify this half into 1 by 2 out plus minus and plus 1 into delete the row and column containing 1 this is gone this is gone 0 into 1 is 0 minus 1 into 3 is equal to 3 minus 0 into if you multiply any number you will get 0 leave plus 1 into this row and column is gone 6 3s are 18 minus 4 into 0 is equal to 0 now this is equal to half into 1 into minus 3 minus 0 plus 1 into 18 so this is half into minus 3 plus 18 so this is 1 by 2 into 18 minus 3 is 15 15 16 17 18 so this is equal to 15 by 2 square units so the required area is equal to 15 by 2 square units let me check is it correct or not 1 into 0 minus 3 minus 0 into number is 0 plus 1 into 6 3s are 18 uh, 6 3s are this is gone 6 3s are 18 minus 0 so this is the required answer correct it is correct check listen listen to me so the area of a triangle is half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 1 by 2 write down the elements first x1 x2 x3 is 1 6 and 4 y1 y2 y3 is 0 0 and 3 1 1 1 the constant as it is third column now expand 1 by 2 into plus minus and plus with respect to first row 1 by 2 into this is gone 0 into 1 is 0 minus 3 minus 0 into any number you will get 0 so plus 1 into this is gone 6 3 is 18 minus 4 into 1 is 0 again so 4 into 0 is 0 it is 1 into 0 minus 3 is minus 3 0 into a number is 0 plus 1 into 18 minus 0 is 18 1 into minus 3 plus 18 into 1 is 18 18 minus 3 is 15 so the area of this triangle is equal to 15 by 2 square units this is the area of the triangle now let us come to the next problem what is the next problem find the area of a triangle Power round with 1, 0, 6, 0 and 4, 0. 4, 3 same problem I did. So this I did same problem. Let us consider one more problem. This I did already. Let us take this problem. 1 comma 1. Again 2 comma minus 1 and 3 comma 0. Now come to this problem. Now the area of the triangle. Area of triangle. Is equal to half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 and 1 so here 
put it in order so that it is easy for you 1 comma 1 2 comma minus 1 and 3 comma 0 this is x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 okay so this is equal to half into first x1 x2 x3 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 y1 y2 y3 is 1 minus 1 and 0 and the last column is 1 1 1 and expand plus minus and plus half into 1 into minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 0 into 1 is 0 minus 1 into this is gone 2 ones are 2 minus 3 plus 1 into delete the row and column containing 1 what is remaining is only this much so 2 into 0 is 0 minus into minus it is plus 3 ones are 3 now this is equal to half into simplify this 1 into minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 1 into plus 1 into 0 plus 3 is 3 so this is half into minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled what is remaining is half into 3 so the required area is equal to 3 by 2 square units so this is the required area so the area of the triangle is equal to 3 by 2 square units very simple right on see x1 x2 x3 1 2 3 y1 y2 y3 1 minus 1 0 1 1 1 sim simplify with respect to first row you will get the answer as 3 by 2 off into 3 is 3 by 2 square units now coming to the next problem so here what is given find this is also important type problem find the value of k if the area of a triangle formed by the points is 4 square units what are the points given what is required to find is k what are the uh, what is given area is given 4 square units what are the points these are the points so write on the points here what are the points k comma 0 that is x1 y1 next 4 comma 0 x2 y2 next 0 comma 2 x3 y3 and area is given area is equal to 4 square units these are the things given now what is the formula area of a triangle solution area of triangle abc is equal to half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 and 1 now what is given area is given this is 4 okay 4 is equal to half into write down the values of x1 x2 x3 k 4 and 0 k 4 and 0 what is the uh, y1 y2 y3 0 0 2 0 0 2 1 1 1 as it is simplify this that's all very simple cross multiply 4 into 2 is 8 is equal to expand plus minus and plus k into so this row and column is deleted 1 into 0 is 0 minus 2 into 1 is 2 minus 0 into number you will get 0 plus 1 into delete the row and column containing 1 4 into 2 is 8 minus 0 into any number is 0 so this is 8 is equal to k into minus 2 plus 1 into 8 so 8 is equal to minus 2k plus 8 transfer this what happens this is 8 minus 8 is equal to minus 2k 0 is equal to minus 2k therefore k is equal to 0 by minus 2 is 0 so the value of k is equal to 0 here so the value of k is equal to 0 okay once again i will explain so find the value of k if the area of a triangle is 4 square units and the vertices are k comma 0 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 what is given the points are given x1 y1 k comma 0 x2 y2 4 comma 0 x3 y3 0 comma 2 and the area of the triangle is 4 square units write on the formula area of triangle is equal to half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 area is given 4 is equal to 1 by 2 into 
So that is k 4 and 0 in the first column y1, y2, y3 second column is 0, 0, 2 and 1, 1, 1 as it is. Multiply, cross multiply this. See so if we cross multiply 2 into 4 is 8, expand with respect to first row that is k into, delete the row and column containing k, 0 into 1 is 0, minus 2 into 1 is 2, 0 into any number 0 you will get, plus 1 into, delete this, 4 to the 8 minus 0. So, 8 is equal to k into minus 2, this is 0, 1 into 8 minus 0 is 8, minus 2k plus 8, transfer plus 8 becomes minus 8, 8 minus 8 is equal to minus 2k. So, uh, a minus 2k is equal to 0, k is equal to 0 by minus 2 is minus 2. So, the value of k is equal to 0. In the same problem, they may ask if the area is equal to plus or minus 4 square units, 4 square units. Then, if it is plus, if it is plus, you are going to get this as 0. Suppose if area is equal to minus 4, if I take area is equal to minus 4, negative sign indicates the area is decreasing, that is all. So, if this is minus 4, then 4 to the this is minus 8, this is minus 8 and minus 8. So, the value of k becomes minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16. So, what you are going to get here, here in this step, I will write here, minus 8 minus 8 is minus 16 is equal to minus 2k, then k is equal to minus 16 by minus 2, that is 8 times gets cancelled, k is equal to 8. So, if area is equal to minus 4, then k is equal to 8. So, in the examination, they may ask, area is equal to plus or minus 4 square, it means first take positive value, for positive value, you will get k is equal to 0, for negative value, negative minus sign indicates the area is decreasing, you will get k is equal to 8. So, that is the difference between plus 4 and minus 4. Now, let us take a similar type problem. Now, here what is given, find the equation of a line. Now, as I told in the beginning of the class itself, so one of the application of this determinant is to find the area as well as to find the equation of a line. Here, what is the problem given? Find the equation of a line joining or passing through the points 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 6 using determinant method. Now, so let us write down the solution for this. So, here, so the one point is given, what is one point given? A, A is equal to 1 comma 2, another point B is equal to 3 comma 6. So, for an equation of a line, we should have to find the equation of a line, there should be three points here using determinant method. So, let us consider let, let P x comma y be any point on the line, be any point on the line, this is to be considered. Let us consider P x comma y be any point on the line. So, therefore, P x comma y, this is considered as x1 comma y1, a, what is a, 1 comma 2, this is considered as x2 comma y2, this is x2 comma y2, x2, P, B, then B is equal to, what is B? 3 comma c, this is x3 comma y3, okay. So, let p x1, p x comma y be any point on the line. So, therefore, the three points x comma y as x1, y1, what is given? a 1 comma 2, x2, y2, b x3, y3 is 3 comma c. So, write down this, the equation of the line is same formula. So, for this also we are using the same formula. So, what is the formula we are going to use for this equation of a line is half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. This is the formula. For equation of a line, same half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. Substitute here that is half into what are the points? x1, 6, x1 and 3, y2 and 6, y2, 6, 1, 1, 1, simplify this. Now expand this. 
plus minus and plus. You just cross multiply 2 into half into 0. 2 into 0 is equal to 0 on the right hand side you will get. This is x into delete the round column containing x. 2 ones are 2 minus 1 into 6 is 6 minus 5 into this is gone. 1 ones are 1 minus 3 plus 1 into delete the round column containing 1. 1 into 6 is 6 minus 3 into 2 is 6. So what are the points x1, y1? So this is x1, y1, x comma y. Let us consider x comma y as one point, x1, y1, 1 comma 2, x2, y2, 3 comma 6 as x3, y3. Let p x comma y be any point on the line. So the equation of the line is given by, what is the formula? Half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. This is equal to 0, half into x1 and 1. Again, y, 2 and 6. Simplify this with respect to first row. Half, half in 2 into 0 is equal to 0. On the right hand side you will get x into 2 ones are 2 minus 6 minus y into 1 ones are 1 minus 3 plus 1 into 1 6 are 6 minus 3 2 are 6. So this is equal to x into this is equal to 0 that is x into so that I will write here. So x into 2 minus 6 is minus 4 minus y into 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 into this is 0 is equal to 0. So minus 4x minus into minus plus 2y is equal to 0. So if you multiply by negative sign you will get 4x minus 2y is equal to 0 is the equation of a line or if you want you can divide by 2 2x minus y is equal to 0 or this can also be written as y is equal to 2x. Now these are all the equation of a line. So this is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. This is the equation of a line in the form y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope, c is the y intercept or there is one general equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is the equation of a line. Convert to this method or y is equal to mx plus c any method these are the equation of a line. So the equation of a line is given by 2x minus y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2x. This is the required equation of a line. This is one of the application advantage of uh, matrices and uh, determinants. Now let us take a similar type problem. I will take one more problem. Now take this. If a is equal to 1 comma 3, 0 comma 0, find the equation of the line. Let us come to the first problem. What is the first problem given? a 1 comma 3 b 0 comma 0 first. Now first we should have to write let p x comma y be any point on the line be any point. So let p x comma y be any point on the line. So therefore p x comma y a consider a as 1 comma b and 1 comma 3 b is 0 comma 0. This is x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3. Now, so what is the formula? So we know this, the equation of a line is given by the equation of a line is, equation of a line is half into x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1 is equal to 0. Now that is half into x1 0 y 3 0 1 1 1 is equal to 0. Cross multiply 2 into 0 is equal to 0 x1 plus minus and plus x into 3 ones are 3 minus 0 minus y into this is gone 1 ones are 1 minus 0 plus 1 into this is gone 0 1 into 0 is 0 minus 0 we will get 0 is equal to 0. This is x into 3 minus y into 1 is equal to 0 or 3x minus y is equal to 0. This is the equation of a line or if you want you can write y is equal to 3x. So y is equal to 3x or 3x minus y is equal to 0 is the equation of a line y is equal to 3x right. Now one more problem is given what is the second problem? This is the second problem. Come to the problem number two. Same. Let P 
x comma y be one point consider this as x1 y1 another point what is another point call it a 3 comma 1 as x1 y1 and b 9 comma 3 as x2 y2 so what is the a formula so the equation of the line is equation of line is half into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 is equal to 0 now this is half into substitute the value so this is x 3 9 x 3 9 y 1 3 1 3 1 1 1 is equal to 0 i will solve here substitute simplify this is plus minus and plus x into 1 1 is a 1 minus 3 next minus y into this is gone 3 1 is a 3 minus 9 plus 1 into this is gone 1 3 3 is a 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 so x into minus 2 y into minus 6 this is 0 minus 2x plus 6y is equal to 0 or divide by minus 2 you will get x minus 3y is equal to 0 is the equation or so if you transfer 3y is equal to x or y is equal to x by 3 anything you can write so the required equation of the line is x minus 3y is equal to 0 these are the problems based on a uh, area as well as the equation of a line for these two types of problems the formula is the same off into x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 1 now let us come to the next concept next one is the minor and cofactor this is very important concept so if you know how to find the cofactor of a matrix then you will going to get the problems based on these cofactors to solve the adjoint, the adjoint of a matrix depends upon the cofactor. Once if you know the adjoint, then you can easily solve the problems on inverse, A inverse. A inverse is also depends upon the adjoint. Once if you know the problems in A inverse, you can solve one five marks question. That is to solve the simultaneous system of equation using determinant method, using matrix method, using matrix method. So therefore, this minors and cofactors, particularly the cofactors of a matrix is very important. Now let us know what is meant by minor of an element. Minor of an element A i j of a determinant is obtained by deleting its i th row and j th column. So suppose consider this is A i j. The minor of element A 1 1 is obtained by deleting this row and the column. What is remaining is A 2 2. So this is the minor. Minor of an element A i j of a determinant is obtained by deleting its i row and j th column in which A i j is present. So if the minors are multiplied by a proper sign, so like this plus minus and minus plus, you will get the cofactor. So first the cofactor of A 1 1 is delete the row and column containing A 1 1. This is gone and what is left over is A 2 2. Cofactor minor of A 1 1 is A 2 2. Similarly, minor of A12, the minor of A12, delete the row and column containing A12. So, this column is gone and this row and column is gone. What is remaining is A21. So, therefore, minor of A12 is A21. Similarly, minor of A21 is this, delete this row and the column. What is left over is A12. And for the last element, the minor of A21 is this row and column is deleted what is left over is a11 so therefore deleting the minor of element of a i j of a determinant is obtained by deleting its i row and i row and j column in which a i j present or lies if this minus are multiplied by a proper sign we are going to get the cofactors that is plus minus and minus plus for example let us consider this is a determinant given 1 2 3 4 now to find the minus let me write the minus for this minor of minor of an element minor of element 1 is equal to this row and column is deleted plus 4 similarly minor of second 2 
delete the row and column containing two, this is gone, this is gone, what is left over is three. And similarly, minor of three, minor of three, this row and column is deleted, you will get two. And minor of four is equal to, this row and column is gone, what is left is one. So these are multiplied by proper sign like plus, minus, minus, plus. So this is plus, this is minus, this is minus, and this is plus. You are going to get the cofactors, the cofactor of a matrix. So let us come to an example. Let us take an example. Now, for example, let us take an example. Find the cofactor matrix. Of, find the cofactor matrix of A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me start with uh, 2 rows and 2 columns. So, how to find the cofactor matrix? The determinant of A is equal to determinant 1, 2, 3, 4. Keep in mind the signs are always plus, minus, minus, and plus. Now, write down the cofactors. Cofactors of first element 1 is delete the row and column containing 1. This 1, 2 is gone, 1, 3 is gone, what is left over is 4. Cofactor of 1 is 4. Similarly, cofactor of 2. What is the sign for this? Write down the sign, it is negative. Then this row and column is gone, what is left over is 3. So, cofactor of 2 is minus 3. Similarly, cofactor of 3. What is the sign? It is negative minus Delete this row and column containing uh, 3, this is gone and this is gone. What is the answer you are going to get is minus 2. And finally, the cofactor of 4, cofactor of 4, it is positive. Delete the row and column containing this, this is gone, this is gone and what is left over is 1. So, therefore, the cofactor matrix denoted as C is equal to, write on, first row it is 4, minus 3, minus 2 and this is the cofactor matrix. So, if you transpose this, you will get adjoint of this. If you multiply by the determinant, you will get the inverse. So, once if you know the cofactor matrix, you can solve the problems of on adjoint. Again, if you know the adjoint, you can solve the problems on inverse, A inverse. If you know the inverse, you can solve the problems of uh, simultaneous equation, solutions of a simultaneous equations using matrix method. So, therefore, this is very, very important concept. Definitely, we will expect a, a question from this adjoint inverse and the uh, solution of a system of linear equations. Now, let us take uh, one more problem. I will take one more problem. Let us take, uh, find the cofactor matrix of if A is equal to 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, minus 4, I will write minus 4. Find its cofactor, find the cofactor matrix. Find the cofactor matrix for this. Now, write down the determinant of this. Determinant is 3 minus 1, minus 2, minus 4. What are the signs? Plus, minus, minus and plus. Okay. Now, first cofactor of 3 is equal to, this row and column is gone, minus 4. Similarly, cofactor of minus 1. What is the formula? Minus, this row and column is deleted, minus 2, minus into minus plus, cofactor of minus 2 is equal to minus, minus formula, this row and column is deleted, you will get minus 1, minus into minus plus. Again, cofactor of minus 4 is equal to 3. So, therefore, the cofactor matrix, cofactor matrix C is equal to, write down the elements, first row, minus 4, 2, 1 and 3. This is the cofactor. So, in the next class, we will discuss regarding the adjoint. If I transpose this, if you transpose this cofactor matrix, you will get an adjoint. So, adjoint is minus 4, 2 and 1, 3. So, that is regard. So, this can also be represented as uh, A11, capital A11, A12, 1112, A21 and A22. So, 
the cofactor matrix is nothing but a11 a12 a21 and a22 so if the minus are multiplied by a proper sign you are going to get a cofactor matrix that is nothing but this this is a example for uh, the minors as well as the cofactor of a matrix so in the next class we will discuss regarding uh, the minors and cofactors in case of a three rows and a three column so so this is very very important concept practice this you will get one question from this okay that's for the day thank you very much we'll meet in the next class